Welcome to the Art of Examinations Business Studies, a guide to passing examinations in all levels in high school by Madenge Elod Karioki. Action verbs 4. Number 1. Explain. This means the what or how of something or the context. Make an idea more situation clear to someone by describing it in more detail or revealing relevant facts. Number one, explain five services or benefits rendered by wholesalers to retailers. They finance retailers by offering them trade credit. They advise or inform retailers on variety of stock in order to meet customer needs or demands or satisfaction. They offer transport facilities to retailers, hence reduces cost of transport by retailers. They break bulk into convenient sizes or quantities for retailers to afford them. They offer product promotion which enables retailers to sell more goods and, and faster. They do packaging, blending, branding, etc. thus saving retailers time and cost to do it. They bring goods closer to the retailers through their distribution networks to avoid wastage of time. They stock a variety of goods, hence help retailers to stock a variety of goods. They store goods in their own warehouses, hence saves retailers need to hire or build warehouses. They ensure steady supply of goods to retailers, which ensures continuous business activities and they transport and store goods that helps retailers save on cost, hence make maximum profits. Two, clearly explain five circumstances under which a manufacturer would prefer to locate his business in a rural area. If cheap land is available in the area that will cut initial costs of setting up, in case there is need for cheap labor which is available in rural areas, if there is ready market for the products in rural areas or can reach the market even from rural areas, in case the rural area has well-developed transport and communication network, hence ease to access market, if there are adequate supplies of raw materials in the rural areas, hence cutting transport costs, when there is adequate security for this investment, when there are auxiliary services available in the rural area, if the manufacturer wishes to take advantage of incentives offered by the government, e.g. tax holidays, if the farm requires more room for expansion and the rural area has adequate idle land, and where the government policy dictates location in rural areas. Action verb number two, describe. This means to give a detailed account in words about something or a person or an issue. It is the what, which, who, and when of an item. Number one, describe five principles that govern insurance companies. One, insurable interest. A client is only covered or compensation is done against loss of an item or property if he or she has rights or ownership rights for that property. Indemnity. The insurer or the company aims at reinstating, restoring or bringing back a client to his financial position he was before the loss occurred. Utmost good faith. The insured must have, must provide all the material facts, honestly about himself or the property to be covered before entering into an insurance contract. Proximate cause. A client is only compensated if there is direct connection between the cause of the loss and the risk covered or insured against subrogation. Once a client has been fully compensated, the insurer takes over the remains or salvage or wreckage in case of loss of property. Contribution. If a subject matter that is the person or property is insured with more than one insurer. In case of a loss, the insurers will jointly compensate the client, but with regard to principle of indemnity and subrogation. Describe five features of economic resources. They are scarce in supply, that is, they are found in small quantities compared to the many uses that they have to be put into monetary value. They have a price which has to be paid for in case you want to use them. And evenly distributed. Some regions have more of resources than others. Have utility. Resources can be combined or are used to produce goods or services that satisfy human needs or wants. 
transferability. Ownership can change from one person to another. Combinability. Resources can be used mixed in different proportions to produce goods and services. Action verb number three, discuss. This means to talk or write about a topic issue in detail. It is taking into account different issues or ideas, both pros and cons of an issue. One, discuss five indicators of the development in a country. High poverty levels due to low productivity or income. High population growth rate compared to the rate of economic growth. Low labor productivity due to inappropriate education and training. Unemployment due to low economic productivity. Low literacy levels due to unaffordable education opportunities. Low level of technology leading to low production. And the utilization of resources due to lack of requisite capital. Over dependence on donor aid for a development and recurrent expenditure. High disparity in income distribution leading to a wide gap between the rich and the poor. Low levels of savings leading to low investments. Discuss five reasons why poor countries are reluctant to implement free trade agreements. One, to avoid unfair competition from developed countries with the superior products as it may lead to loss of market for their products. Two, to prevent dumping of inferior products by developed countries which may have adverse effects on the economy and the environment. Three, to safeguard local employment that may be led by free entry of imports. Four, to avoid political blackmail which may arise due to, depend, to dependence on other countries' products. Five, to reduce balance of payments deficit as a result of payment of imports more than receipt from exports. To safeguard local industries that may not withstand competition from well-established foreign industries and to safeguard against reduced government revenue otherwise and through taxation of imports. Action verb number four, outline. This is outline for paper two. This means to summarize main points or write the important details of a story or issue plus or with supporting ideas. Here, more details are given. One, now claim five factors that may limit the use of containers as a method of transporting goods in a developing country. Specialized loading and offloading equipment are expensive to buy and maintain. Volume of business or luggage may not be large enough or may not warrant such heavy investment. Initial capital needed for the system of containers is very high or large or not easily affordable. The method requires the redesigning of the existing parts or system systems which is very expensive. Organizational, personnel, training and operational management skills needed for the method may be lacking or training may be very expensive. Two, outline five differences between monopoly and oligopoly market structures or systems. Monopoly versus oligopoly. So monopoly consists of a single seller, while oligopoly has few large sellers that dominate the market. Monopoly firms make independent decisions, while oligopoly decision making is interdependent. In monopoly, no close substitutes for the product, but oligopoly, the products have close substitutes. There is no competition in the market for monopoly, but firms engage in unpriced competition in oligopoly. Physics downward sloping demand curve. Oligopoly physics a kinked demand curve. Monopoly firms can use price discrimination. In oligopoly, firms can't use price discrimination. In monopoly, there is heavy government support, which is evident. In oligopoly, there is less government support. In monopoly, product quality may be poor or low, but in oligopoly, product quality is high due to competition. Action verb number five, demonstrate. This means giving a practical exhibition and explanation of how a machine, idea, skill, craft, or an item works or is performed. One, demonstrate how price discrimination works. One, markets near the seller enjoy lower prices than those far away due to high cost of transport. Two, the high end or well off consumers are willing to buy at high prices than those at low end status economically. Three, those willing to buy in bulk enjoy discounts than those buying small quantities due to cost of breaking bulk. Four, high priced products attract early buyers than low priced products due to perception of value. 
five high priced buyers often enjoy prestige than low priced buyers six sellers sell at lower prices to less endowed to avoid dead stock as opposed to high prices charged the well endowed customers seven pioneers are willing to buy at high price than laggers or late buyers Question number two, clearly demonstrate how an oligopoly market structure works. So this is equilibrium price and this is the normal or abnormal demand curve. If one firm increases prices slightly, the demand for its products fall sharply because customers are price sensitive and if one firm reduces price slightly the demand increases slightly because the other firms can afford to reduce the price to that price that has been set by one firm and compete with that price that is price war so this is what happens we have a slight increase in price a high decrease in quantity demanded a slight decrease in price small quantities demanded increase thank you